Hi friends, I'm back, back in action. Sorry for being MIA for two weeks, but things came up. First thing that came up is I had a stomach ache. Usually I like to film my videos on the weekend because I work during the week and sometimes my days go into my nights and I'm just too wiped to do anything. So I'm like, you know what, let's do it on the weekend when I have some real time. But I got a stomach ache so I wasn't feeling up to it so I didn't do a video. Then second thing that happened, the week before that, it was Easter weekend, and I was just too crazy running around trying to help cook Easter dinner and doing a bunch of other things and dealing with family drama, so you're like, so I'm like, you know what, this is really not going to happen. I wish I actually brought my camera with me as well, that was another reason, and then I could have like shot some of the footage of like me cooking and stuff, but it just didn't work out. But I'm back and I'm sorry and I'm going to try to make up for it with some cool new videos. First video today is sort of a mini haul of sorts. What I mean by that is spring is here. It's actually feeling warmer in New York for once. So that means more fun clothes, more fun colors, and shorter items. And part of that means I need to revamp my wardrobe. I need to get rid of some old things and bring in the new. So, I haven't really gotten rid of any old things because I have like weird attachments to clothes and things that I have. Not even clothes, just things. I'm not a hoarder. But yeah, I, I need to figure out what to get rid of. Maybe I'll do a video on how to figure out how to get rid of things. But anyways, I decided to get some items that I thought were necessary, essential, and some things that were just fun. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. First thing that I got, these. And what I mean by these, I'm currently wearing jeggings. They are jean leggings from Uniqlo. So that's what jegging means, in case you didn't know, which I'm sure you did. But yeah, I got them from Uniqlo. They're a grayish color, and I really like them. They're stretchy, which allows me to do this and other things. And then also, they're pretty long. Um, they're, they hit like right above my ankle, and since I am a taller girl, I find that buying jeans sometimes it's just really hard to do because they don't always hit at the length you want them to, at least for me anyways. Um, but yeah, I really like them. Just stand up real quick. This is what they look like. There's like no pockets in front, just full pockets. Then you have back butt pockets. And yeah, no zipper. You just pull them on and they are super, super stretchy and I love them. They're so comfortable. So I'm probably going to go back to Uniqlo to buy some more jeans just because I do need some new jeans. And you know, as a female, I don't know if males experience this, but you get crotch holes. And what I mean by crotch holes are like, you know, like near the inner thigh, there's a lot of friction that happens. And then right near your crotch and near the inner thigh, a hole appears. Your jeans wear away like fire. Anyway, so crotch holes happen, and that happens to a lot of girls that I know. Don't know if it happens to males, but I feel like it should. It's like a common thing, but who knows. Anyways, that's happened to me. Have to get rid of a couple jeans because of crotch holes, so I need to get some new ones at Uniqlo. And since I really love these jeggings, I'm going to pop over there again and see if I can get some jeggings and a lighter wash, like a denim color, light blue, because right now I have a lot of darker wash jeans, a lot of... A lot of, not a lot of black, maybe two black jeans, but all my jeans that I own are pretty much dark denim blue. I need some denim denim light blue jeans. But yeah, that's what I got. Then I also got this top from Uniqlo, not Uniqlo, H&M, which I'm probably going to return. It is a gold crop top. I thought it was really cute. It has a really high collar and it hits right above your belly button and um maybe a little bit higher than your, right above your belly button and right now I feel like I kind of have a gut of sorts I need to work out on my stomach and flatten it out but I thought maybe if I got this crop top it would inspire me to work out more and like get into shape a lot faster but I don't know it's just it's really hard to, not hard to put on but difficult to pull on and off because again um, this is a size US 8 and it was a large Anyways, like I was saying, 
This is a US size 8 and it's the largest size they had at, at the time. But what I find difficult about is if you have a little bit of boobage, it makes it hard to pull on and off. And I don't have a lot of boobs, but I feel like if you have any sort of boob, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. Maybe if this was a size up, it would be a little bit better, but I'm probably going to return it. I do really like glitter and I think the coloring looks really great on my skin, but I, I probably have to return it and I'm going to get something better. So I'll keep you posted on what I get. The next thing I got from Uniqlo was a pair of black jeans. And again, these are really great material. I haven't worn them yet, but I tried them on at the store. They are the ultra stretch jeans and stretchy material, which I like. It's also really, really long. It hits like way past my ankle, almost all the way to my foot. And again, as a tall girl, I find that's a problem trying to find jeans that are long enough, but these are really great. So again, I'm probably going back to Uniqlo to find some lighter wash jeans. But yeah, love, loving the Uniqlo jeans right now. Next thing that I got was from H&M, and they are these paisley print shorts. They are super, super cute, fun for summer have these cute pockets this is the back it has a zipper in the back and uh, again I feel like these aren't short shorts they are fun and I could wear these to work with a nice top and or out I feel like they're very versatile and I really love the coloring and the print so they are a keeper from H&M then I, the last thing I got at H&M was this pink top it's sort of billowy which I'm really into the billowy right now has like a fringe bib that goes all the way down to the bottom of the shirt and then the back is sort of like a high low shirt which most shirts or blouses are nowadays it also has this really cool little gold or a silverish clasp silver clasp at the top collar which is cute and I thought this was really nice for spring could wear it with my Uniqlo jeggings or my Uniqlo bla black jeans or I could wear it with my H&M shorts I think it's really cute for spring Really great color and I like it and I'm keeping this. But the gold top, gold crop top, is probably going. And those are the clothes that I got. The only other thing that you haven't seen yet that I've got is makeup. So I'll give you a quick little run through. So, like I was saying, <laughs> I keep running out of space. Um, so a quick, quick little run through of the makeup that I got. All from Sephora, I might add. Got this Smashbox lipstick it's called cognac and is a creamy lipstick and I really love it it's like the perfect neutral for me it has a slight shimmer to it I don't know if you can see or if you can tell but it has a slight shimmer to it but it doesn't show up when you apply it so it's like the teeniest of shimmers but it doesn't really show up that hard when you put it on and it looks beautiful to me it's the perfect neutral for me and I love it I also got Smashbox Punch Drunk Matte Lipstick, and I'm wearing that right now. Kind of rubbed off a bit, but basically it's a super fun pink color that I'm in love with right now. I think it looks really great in my skin tone, and I think it's just fun for summer and spring and for any holiday, any holiday season in between. It's just really great, and I highly recommend the Smashbox lipsticks because I've been loving them right now. Next thing that I got was Dior Mascara. Now this is the bottle that it comes in. It's really pretty and it's Dior Addicts It Lash. Love the packaging. And what I like about mascara, or what I've learned about mascara is most formulas are the same, but what makes it different is the brush. So this is what the Dior brush looks like for the It Lash. And I absolutely love it. It's like perfect for me. Uh, I feel like it connects to my lashes like no mascara I've had has really done in the past. Like, I, I've used Maybelline, the CoverGirl stuff, and it works great. But I feel like this, like, I really feel it connecting to each lash versus the CoverGirl Maybelline that I've been used to. Not that I won't ever use Maybelline CoverGirl again. And it's a way more affordable or less pricey because this is kind of pricey. It's like $27. Um, but I feel like... This is like very, very, very good. Like it really hits your lashes. And I like, my lashes aren't crazy long, but I feel like they're long enough. If I want them to be more dramatic, I'll get falsies. Um, but yeah, love this. Two coats of this, you're good to go. Day or night. Also got a refill of my Anastasia Brow Pencil. Um, it's medium brown in case you're curious. That's the color I use, but 
Um, love it. I'm, I don't think I'm never going to stop using it because I really love it and it's super easy for eyebrow beginners. Also got, last thing, Stila Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I used this before and then I stopped because when I went to Sephora they didn't have it so I'm like oh well I'll just get something else. I got something at a drugstore. I got the L'Oreal Liquid Liner and it works pretty good but this is way better in my opinion because when you put it on if you don't have any experience or you don't have a steady hand this will put it on like precise like it's super precise it's beautiful it comes in an array of colors you can get this in blue and pink and green I'm sticking with the basic black for right now but just love it you gotta have it so that's the makeup that I got so yeah that's basically what I got I'm planning on getting a couple more items for my wardrobe and like I said I'm planning on getting rid of a couple items but I hope you like this video again I'm super sorry for not being on my game but I'm working on it um, please hit that subscribe button below give me a big thumbs up like leave plenty of comments tell me what you thought where do you think I can get a good pair of jeans that aren't too expensive when I say too expensive they can't be a hundred dollars because realistically I realize most jeans probably cost fifty dollars and above I'm trying to cope with that, but it's hard. But yeah, tell me where you think you can find some really cute, light wash jeans that aren't crazy expensive and don't rip easily. <laughs> um, also, tell me what you thought about some of the items that I picked up, makeup-wise or clothing-wise. What did you really like that I picked up the most? Was it the Paisley shorts from H&M? Let me know. Um, yeah, also, I have some really fun videos of mine. I know I told you guys I wanted to do a dramatic makeup look and I'm probably doing that in my next video hopefully it's my next video we'll see but again thank you guys so much for watching the video thank you for leaving comments when you do it's really great I'm trying my hardest um yeah just let me know what you think I always love to hear feedback and I just love to see other people's channels and get some inspiration but thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe come back bye